Most people in America are looking for how do I make a life worth living in return with having. When I record my audio cast, there's always someone in a local shop that wants to impede what I do for a living. You see, they make their living one way, but I make my living another way. What I find amazing is that there is a way for people to be trained to be completely asleep while other people abuse them. As a reporter and a trained journalist from a major top 10 university, I have the right underneath the First Amendment called the freedom of press to speak my mind, to give my opinion, to render a comment without someone interfering. Today we have social media companies that are going to be sued personally by me and others for their violations of human rights. They are absolutely editing our right to speak, our right to comment, and they start to play these games of this one must be a stalker because he's got so many things to say instead of this one's doing his job and providing advice in part of his business for that company that's asked him to do this. You see, in life we have to have advisors, and advisors come from all different walks of life. Even a homeless person like me has a mind and has the ability to use it to make a living. When I receive my stipends, they come as cash. They come as cash because some bitch in my family infiltrated my banking accounts without my consent and ruined what I was doing with them. Because she chose not to pay a bill that someone promised to pay for me that was merely $100, the whole system shut down. Now, should she not be going to jail or should she be going to jail? Is the question not at all. The point is she overstepped her boundaries in both sides of the equation in terms of her relationship to me and how I feel about her, but at the same time in her relationship to the individual who was going to compliment me with $100 so I could cover something while I was working on something else with my own money. The liars of America don't think about what their rights are today. The liars of America always want to play. And the players in America are ruining America today.